It has been ten years since I heard a voice of any human or saw anyone else. I can't even remember those days when I had a family. But it's all over now, and only because of our fault. Because we always took Earth for granted. And do you know what happened? Pollution, deforestation, climate change. Yes, we were preparing our own death with these. We saw natural disasters, fresh water, lakes and rivers started to dry off, glaciers and ice caps melted, the sea level started rising drastically causing massive tsunamis and floods, and then the ultimate disaster happened. Huge asteroid impact. Cold temperature crossed all limits, causing super volcanic eruption. And finally, all these events wiped out almost all humans present on Earth, turning this beautiful planet into a dead planet, leaving abandoned and damaged buildings. I wish we humans could have realized our mistakes before it was too late and could have saved this beautiful planet. But we all fought against each other over stupid things. Then fighting together for this planet. I'm the last of our kind, standing alone here. Helplessly searching for anything that will keep me alive. I think I'm exhausted and I don't want to survive this anymore. I don't want to live alone like this. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel. I don't know if I'm lucky to have survived 
all that has happened. Or I'm lucky to be the sole survivor of this planet, who will be the last of our kind, and end the entire human race. Somewhere between the modernization of Earth and the silence of trees, they have lost our humanity. Hence, we need to filter our vision. We look through the masks and the shields now to understand that we are but humans, not the most powerful, never meant to be. Time to restore the humanity with a subtle realization that we are among one of the species. And if survival of the fittest were true, then Earth's survival is the primary need of the R. And to survive on its own, she can kill us. Corona is just one such way. Hence, we are not the fittest. It's the Mother Earth that's fittest of all. And we need to take care of it. Thank you.